Due to popular demand, here's a special version of Battle of the Ports. Complete with voiceover, this is Battle of the Ports Bonanza Brothers. So starting off, we're taking a look at the original arcade version of Bonanza Brothers. It was something quite special since it actually came on a 3.5 inch HD floppy disk. The disk unit was part of Sega's System 24. The idea was that you could just buy the base unit, then upgrade with new games simply by plugging in a new security chip and buying a new floppy disk. Great idea for um, arcade operators who were on a budget. So the idea of Bonanza Brothers is pretty simple. You had a pair of cat burglars who boast that they can clear out any place within 3 minutes. So you've guessed it, it's your job to get all the loot and escape before the time's up, or before you get captured by security. The game is always split screen, no matter if you're playing a 1 player or a 2 player game. Coming to the NEC PC Engine thanks to Hudson, this port is extremely well done. Graphically it could be said that it's better looking than the Sega Mega Drive version. And that Redbook CD audio vastly improves over the original soundtrack. If you have a PC Engine CD system, then this is a must buy, a great port of Bonanza Brothers. The first home port of Bonanza Brothers came to the Sega Mega Drive, where it was pretty well received in Japan and Europe, however not so much in the US. Probably because of the poor box art that Sega of America went with, it sort of lost the appeal of the game. As far as conversions go, this is pretty good. Graphically it's pretty close to the arcade version, although that's not too hard considering how basic the arcade looked. Control wise all is good, and the audio, although the hehehe <laughs> speech is a little grainy, is not too bad. Wow. <laughs> Wow! 
Bonanza Brothers is a game that uses two buttons. Of course, the home computer versions have nasty compromised controls. In the original console and arcade games, oh, and don't forget the Japanese home computer, the X68000, one button jumps while the other button shoots and opens doors. In the Yoro home computer versions, you need to hold down the fire button to jump, while a light press will shoot. Sounds easy enough, but soon becomes a hindrance more than anything else. Controls aside, the Amiga port looks quite like the Mega Drive version, but now with added choppy scrolling. The Atari ST version is basically the same as the Amiga version but with much smoother scrolling. There's not much else to say really.
Unlike the Amiga and ST versions, the Sharp X68000 has no control issues whatsoever since it makes use of two different fire buttons like the game was designed to have. Graphically, this version runs at a lovely high resolution just like its big arcade brother. In fact, it's pretty much the same game. The graphical defects that you see on this video are due to emulation errors, not the actual game. Surprisingly, Bonanza Brothers even made its way onto the Sega Master System. While this version is missing the arcade intro, it does replace it with its own original intro. It's not only the intro that's been changed, the actual levels are also redesigned as you can see. Not that that's a big issue because you still get to play a pretty good version of Bonanza Brothers. Time to take a look at the European 8-bit home computer ports. Just like the Amiga and the ST, they all suffer from the same controls. However, this C64 version is far superior to the other two versions coming up.
It's hard to think anyone could mess up a game as simple as Bonanza Brothers. However, the programmers behind the Spectrum version manage just that. While it's graphically pretty well done, the controls just render the game unplayable. Uh, okay, maybe not that bad, but they sure make the game a nightmare to play. The lag is terrible, plus for some reason your character seems to jump very high at times. Also, picking up stuff is a real pain since the items blend in with the backgrounds. Looking very impressive, you'd expect this CPC port to play as well as it looks, but it doesn't. It has been cursed with the exact same control issues that made the Spectrum version so poor. Finally, let's finish off the show with the PlayStation 2 version. Part of the Sega Ages series, this game comes packed with Tanto R, a puzzle action based party game that features the same graphical style as Bonanza Brothers. This version runs at 480p and looks very nice. The controls are well done and there's even some bonus content in there which I've yet to unlock. Probably the definitive version for most people.
Ha, ha, ha.